Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing a statistics and this is video lecture number 4. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 3 before watching this part 4. In this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, some uh, different type of questions and different formula as well to find mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median. Uh, in previous lecture, we had discussed about the mean deviation of, of uh, the discrete data when frequency are uh, given uh, for corresponding value of data. That was the discrete distribution of frequencies and uh, data also. Here, I am going to discuss uh, the when data are continuous and the frequency distributions are given. So, uh, for that, how we can calculate mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median. So, let us start today about uh, learning this topic when data are distributed and the frequency are given uh, continuously. So, mean deviation topic is mean deviation deviation for continuous distribution of data. Continuous distribution of data. Distribution of data. Right? Um, so, how to deal with this? Right? Continuous distribution means data are classified in class intervals and then we have to calculate the mean deviation about mean. So when data are given in class then mean deviation can be obtained by a mean can be obtained by using formula that A plus sigma F I D I upon sigma F I into H where I is equal to 1 to N. Everybody knows this? I is equal to 1 to n. So, this is a what a formula where di is what where di is described as where di is xi minus a upon h. Right now, what is h? And h is length of class interval. Length of class interval. h is length of class interval. Right? The length of class interval. Class interval. So, how to deal with? First, uh, we will use this formula to find mean, and thereafter we can go ahead with the same formula that uh, mean deviation about mean is given like mean deviation deviation about mean mean is what? mean deviation that is uh, sigma i is equal to 1 to n if i x i minus x bar whole divided by sigma f i that is n or 1 by n this side so that can be used okay so here is a question and question number 9 this is question number 9 find the mean deviation find the mean deviation deviation about mean about mean of the following data of the following data let me write question uh, and uh, till then i'm pausing this video and uh, making some table as well so here here it is given income in which per hundred in the page hundred to two hundred hundred to two hundred two hundred to three hundred 300 to 400, right? 400 to 500, and 500 to 600, and 600 to 700, and 700 to 800, right? So these are distribution of data. Now to find mean of the data, you can use a sigma fx upon sigma f also. Uh, for that, you have to find mid class value, but you can use the another way also, taking a zoom mean. So let me do in that way because earlier method has been already discussed. So let us start uh, to solve this question with the help of new table. And the new table, uh, I'm going to make it and fill the data. So let us discuss now the comprehensive table solution is there here this uh, comprehensive table for comprehensive comprehensive table for solution for finding mean finding mean and mean and mean deviation mean deviation how to deal with 
here income per day income is written here that is income and then number of person number of person this is class mark xi and xi minus a upon h that is di so we can write here di right here. di that is xi minus h a upon h and now f i d i f i d i got it f i d i and then so here we can find the value and the class intervals are uh, 0 to 100 100 to 200 200 to 300 this all you know that 300 to 400 400 to 500 500 to 600 isn't it just time filling the data and 600 to 700 and one more 700 to 800 i can insert here right 700 to 800 so what will happen in that case uh, there will be frequencies are like uh, here 4 489 that is given here 4 8 9 10 7 5 4 3 5 4 and 3 so these are the things right now uh, we will have to deal with let me finish this type of this. then what will happen the class mark which xi xi is class mark nothing else which is upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 so 0 plus 100 that is 100 divided by 2 what is that that is 50 isn't it that is 50 here it will be 150 250 350 450 550 650 similarly and 750 this is what di now a can be taken one of them as zoomed mean so usually middle one is taken as zoomed mean so here how many class 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so middle one any one of them that is fourth or fifth which has more frequency that can be taken as assumed mean so i am taking this as an assumed mean right now this one as assumed mean so if this is a right now assumed mean so what will happen if i subtract here it will be a zero just opposite to that because xi minus a that is 350 divided by 100 that is zero zero here it will be minus one minus two minus three this will be one two and three four now if i di can be easily calculated that four multiply by three minus three that is minus twelve eight multiply by two minus sixteen nine multiply by two uh, minus one this is zero seven multiply by one is seven five multiply by two is ten four multiply by three is twelve and four multiply by three is twelve so this 12 and 12 cancels out and 16 plus 9 25 minus 25 and this is 10 12 plus 10 22 plus 7 29 29 minus 25 is plus 4 so the total sum is plus 4 so here sigma fi di is plus 4 right now and now mean is equal to therefore mean can be calculated as a plus sigma fi di upon sigma fi multiply by h this is what the formula sigma fi if i am going to calculate this sigma fi what is that that is total 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 9 21 plus 13 31 and 7 38 5 43 and 4, 47 and 350 so that is 50 so here i can write this sigma fi di a is what 350 plus 4 upon 50 multiply by what is the length of class interval 300 to 400 that is 100 so this cancel two times 4 to 8 350 8 is the mean of the data so if i am going to subtract xi minus 358 here then what will happen and taking the modulus value of it then uh, this can be written as xi minus let me write this xi minus x bar and modulus of it so if i am writing here xi minus x bar and modulus that is mean so what will happen 
x i this 50 minus 358 is what? 358 if I will subtract out of 50 it will be 100 minus uh, 358 let me start from here only if I am subtract that will be 8 minus 8 that will be minus 108 358 minus 108 so it will be 108 208 and 308 right now 308 so if I subtract out of it this will be the modulus value similarly here what will happen xi minus x bar if i calculate it here this will be 450 minus 358 that is 92 92 and 192 and this is 292 and this is 392 so that will be the difference now if i multiply with fi then what will happen uh, this will come like 4 multiply with 308 so that is 1284 here 24 32 1232 now 8 multiply with this is 64 and 8 to just 16 right 9 multiply with this 9 at just 72 and 9 will the 9 922 10 multiply by this 8 is 80 and 7 multiply by 92 and 7 to the 14 and 9 7 is 63 and 164 like this 5 multiply with 2 is 19, 5 is 95 plus 1 96, 4 2 is 8, 9 4 is 36, 3 9 4 2 is 8, 3 11, and this is 3 multiply with this is 3 2 is 6, 9 3 is 27, carry 2, and 3 3 is 9, 9 2 11 again, right now, 7 at 9 6, and now therefore mean deviation is mean deviation mean deviation is now mean deviation deviation about mean age mean deviation that is 1 by n sigma x i minus x bar right f i x i minus x bar so what is that now this is nothing else but f i x i minus x bar is 7 8 9 6 and this n is 50 so 50 if i divide by 50 it means multiply by 2 and divide by 2 so that will be 6 to the 12 and 9 to the 18 and 19 and 8 to the 16 and 17 and 9 7 to the 14 and 115 157.92 that will be the answer of this question so here uh, this will be the answer i hope you got it now similarly there is another question and uh, this i am giving you to make for practice that find the mean deviation about mean question number 10 find the mean deviation about mean mean deviation <coughs> about mean of the following data mean of the following data following data you should do this right now as homework but it is too lengthy to calculate